Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. So, of course, the, the latest news is that YouTube, of course, will be banning medical misinformation. Let's go over here. There's an article here talking about YouTube will now ban content with medical, for mis medical misinformation. This came out today, um, the 29th. And there is. There's a lot of medical misinformation that's out there. There's information talking, telling people that this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. There's medical misinformation that if you take it, you're going to be okay. You've even got the president of the United States blaming individuals who haven't taken it as the reason for why this whole thing is continuing going in the direction that it is. Now, I've looked at a lot of the states and a lot of the different countries, and I honestly can't, I don't see the efficacy that they refer to. You've got some of the the most highly uh, countries that have taken that have taken it, and you don't see the results. You don't see you know the disappearance of it. You look at a place, for example, like when I did that video uh, talking about Palestine. You look at you look at Israel, that just cases all over the place, but then you've got neighboring Palestine that has, like almost nobody has taken it. And you don't really see the disease running rampant. If you remember um, back when uh, everything was talking about India, right? Everything was showing pictures and, you know, showing that oh, they're burning bodies in the streets. People are just, you know, walking around. There's just bodies everywhere, you know, ending the chaos. And then it just you know, quietly just disappeared, right? And then, and then India reports lowest daily cases and deaths since March and of course you would have India is not exactly in terms of the, even in terms of the culture is not the cleanest in terms of their practices there were people out there smearing you know feces all over themselves talking about you know whether that was you know useful spreading you know cow feces on themselves that's misinformation that's some real medical misinformation but for a lot of people who are like, oh, if I just take it and everything's going to be okay, we're going go back to normal. Well, that's not the narrative. In fact, India India has, I want to say 10, maybe 12 percentage in terms of people who are like fully. And there's a couple of people who partially took it and they're just like, I don't know where it went. It just seemed to have disappeared. But then you, you look at the people who have just like, everybody going to take it. Everybody, you know, you got to roll up. Everybody got to roll up. In fact, there are people out there that are taking their thirds and their fourths in terms of their doses and you don't see the efficacy so the, the real the real misinformation is with the outcomes the outcomes of medical misinformation forgive my my squeaky ass chair here and it says passion passenger dies uh, as a result and 25 people are sick on carnival cruise line right so this is this is what happens with medical misinformation you gotta I and mean, everybody who who was on here like you can't go on there if you haven't taken it right if you if you plan on going on one of these cruises they're like everybody gotta take it if you, everybody gotta take it and of course the, that's the narrative I, I i pay attention to the social medias as a nurse and i see all these people that are like this would have all would have ended and it's because of you people on the right or because of you you people who are anti you're misinformed you're a trumper you're this and you're that but then I'm like, well, these are the people that are out there that all of them, all of them took. And they're like, yeah, but we know that there are going to be some people who who have a breakthrough, but it doesn't matter because overwhelmingly you're going to have mild cases. I'm like, well, tell that to this guy right here. Tell that, tell that to this guy right here who apparently did not have a mild case of it. In fact, he died. He died as a result of it. And all these people, you know, they're all mingling with each other, you know, thinking that they're safe. And this is the real misinformative part is that people are are walking around imagining that they're okay that's a lot of medical misinformation because the result is is that the result is that people die especially because you even see you're even seeing it among young people which is very odd to see a lot of these individuals who are now uh, experiencing outbreaks especially among young people young people have or should have an immune system that is highly resilient at fighting off diseases so it should be very rare to see young people even when they're coming together young, young many of these people that are starting to become sick 
and you have a, an area and these are just basically studies right these are just basically studies where we can look at where you've got and most of these areas you know they're very strict about masks they're very strict about not going around and going to all these different and you know most of these people who attend you know these type of institutions are typically a little bit more left-leaning these aren't you know your pro-country republican trumper christian etc you know sort of you know whack jobs that would be you know completely um aloof to all of the restrictions these are the people that are just following you know blindly whatever the shiny box tells them to do you know they're lockstep right with it and of course they have to go to uh, classes get in-person classes get suspended over an outbreak and this this came out yesterday right this was an article that came out yesterday out at harvard with a 95 percent 95 percent of the people mean that if, if supposedly if it causes antibodies your chances of catching it should be almost zero it should be almost zero especially that's not even including being young and healthy having no sort of uh comorbidity comorbidities and it would be really sad to see if you start to see deaths and that would be really that would really be fishy going on and of course israel there was some news coming out of israel and this is more of the medical misinformation where people said no such thing there's no such thing as natural immunity that that's a myth you got all these doctors coming out of the woodwork talking about how you know i had it so i should be all right i got antibodies and like that's not true it's not true you don't have uh you don't have no no sort of protection and it's like well if that's the case right it's very much like it's very see a lot of times people don't follow things to their logical conclusion and it's very much like, for example, in Jesus' day, when Jesus was going around and the Bible says that he was expelling demons, and then a bunch of the religious leaders from his day said, the only reason that he's able to do that is because the devil gives him all this authority to expel demons. And then she said, okay, let's follow that to its natural conclusion. He said straightforwardly, in terms of looking at things as a system of things, that Jesus said that if Satan expels Satan, right, if I'm doing all this by means of Satan, well then his kingdom will never stand his kingdom will fall because i'm i'm working to create inroads and it's as the result of his authority that would make no, that would make no mistake that would that would make no sense for it to be that way and so logically speaking if you're telling people that oh you don't have natural immunity well that's how the, that's how it works you take it and then you have an immune response and then your body creates antibodies and either you get sick and you create antibodies or you 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 simulate the sickness via taking it in the arm and then it, your body does what it does to create the antibodies to say that that's the, that that it's a myth of natural immunity well that completely goes against your innate immune system of how it works it doesn't make any sense but there is the latest information for those who do want to read the latest study the latest study of course is here this is coming out of Israel comparing natural immunity um, to the one that is induced, right? Uh, reinfections through versus breakthrough, what they refer to as breakthrough infection. So what they were talking about is if you got sick and you got antibodies, they look at those people and then they look at the people who took it and they see the breakthrough. And then they compare they compare the two. So you can take a look at the, all, all links, so of course, will always be below. And as a result of a lot of the a lot of the misinformation that is perpetrated by the government, you get stuff like this, where you get some medical workers who maybe are a little bit smarter, they're a little bit more savvy, they've done their homework, right? As a nurse, we're responsible for uh, paying attention and re and doing research and you know going by the most up to date information. But we're also taught to critically think. Right? As a nurses, we're also taught to critically think. That's why we pay this. That's why they pay us because we're not paid to push just to drop medications off in people's laps. That's not why they pay nurses what they pay them. They pay you to think. That's why. That's why because they can get a monkey to give pills, right? It doesn't take much uh, effort to go around and give people pills. What they teach you is right here: is to critically think, use that stuff between your ears. And so, Upstate University Hospital to shutter ORs, right? So now they can't even do operations because then they're blaming new uh the, the the mandate for a shortage and then there'll be many hospitals and of course this is going to result in deaths because then 
people can't go to hospitals, they can't get surgeries that they need, or there are longer wait times, and of course all this results in uh, higher mortality for patients. You're gonna get patients that are gonna either come in sicker or they're gonna have you know more reinfections, and all of this of course results in people dying. And this is as a result of real medical misinformation. This is the real medical mi misinformation that many people, especially on TV, that they don't want to talk about. Right? And it all comes down to propaganda. Yeah, your information doesn't mesh with our narrative. Our narrative is that everything's going to be okay and that we're all going to go back to normal. And you look at places like Israel, and Israel doesn't have a population that, uh, that didn't take it. They all, they all, in essence, bent the knee. Right? They all took the Holy Communion from Dr. Fauci. And now the president can look and be like, well, it's because of those people over there that didn't take it. But that's the reason why we're in the predicament that they're not. No, they're pointing to the people who took it twice, and they're like, "You well, you didn't take it the third time. That's why, you know, we're in the state that we're in. It's, it's your fault. It's because you people over there, you know, the, the people who took it twice, you're the ones that are causing all this problem. And this is basically where we're at. And this doesn't go away. I feel like a lot of people think about well, protests, we'll go out there with a sign and say, you know, no mandates, no et cetera. This doesn't go away that way. This goes away when people start hitting the ground when the bodies start hitting the ground and then people want to start rethinking the situation walking around with a bunch of signs is not going to cut it that, that's a fact uh, uh, it, the French have been doing that for like nine weeks already I think it's ten and they're still in the same predicament Italy has been doing it for, for weeks on end a lot of these countries where they're pushing this narrative where they're saying you're being you're misinformed you're anti whatever they're out there with signs all the time they're out there with signs all the time and it's not going to cut it it's not and the government will outweigh outweigh you right the government will be always prepared they prepared for this and so you have to be prepared as well to do to go further than probably your ancestors went you know Americans and people in the West haven't really had to put up a fight for a lot. And they know that. They know that you're, you've are you been soft to the system, that they do everything for you, so you become dependent, right? Like a baby, right? The baby that requires the teeth, right? The baby can't live, it can't sustain itself. And that's how they look at you. They like They realize that we can push you around. We can teach your kids what we want to teach them. We can inject you with whatever we want to inject you. And if you say anything to the contrary, well, then we're going to ban you. And it's not that these businesses want to go that route. These people are in the business of creating content and making money. They're not out there to create a narrative. Now, some of them might be. But if that was the case, you wouldn't see a lot of this, what is deemed as misinformation on this platform. They would just lock it all down. It's only when the hammer comes down from up on high and then everybody else is made to bend the knee. And then you see other businesses go that route. But everybody has to make their own decision. Everybody has to make their own decision, whether you're a business owner, or an employee, you're a mother, or you're a father, you're a sister, you're a brother, you're a husband or a wife. Everybody's got to make their own choice. When you can't make your own choices in life, that is what they refer to as slavery. Anyway, I'm going to leave you here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.